Hey guys, it's Tina Bazine. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about tattoos again. Now, before we get into that, we're going to get all the business stuff over with. If you're new here, welcome. And if you would like to hang around, watch the whole video and you like it and you'd like to give a girl a thumbs up, that would be much appreciated. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, that would be so freaking awesome. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know every single time I upload a new video. And also too, all of my social media is listed below. So if you'd like to follow me, that would be cool. And let's get on with the video. So today I decided for a reason that I'm so excited about to talk to you about tattoos. Um, down below, I'm going to hook, um, hook. I'm going to leave the link for another video I did. This is really high and I feel like I'm looking up at the ceiling. That's better. Um, I'm going to link the other video I did on tattoos and you guys can see pictures of the ones that I have. And it's really funny because whenever I do videos on a topic that I've talked about before, I always make sure and watch the last one because sometimes things happen and you change your mind about things. So it's a good thing that I did. I had said in the last video that um, I don't get big elaborate pieces. Well, sometimes life throws you a curveball and you have a change of heart and that's basically what happened to me I um, have been uh, it's been a, it's been a while it's been a minute since I got tattooed last and um, I I knew what I was feeling and what I how I wanted my new piece to be and it turned out that what I wanted is very detailed and for those of you that don't know I go to um, a tattoo artist his name is Keith Besantine he's from Creating Ink in Tilsonburg Ontario and he's fabulous and I drive two hours to see him he's the only one that I will let tattoo me because I like him and I'm comfortable and he's so talented. But anyway, being that I'm going to be getting tattooed again, um, I wanted to talk to you about what it's like being somebody um, who still continues to get body art and being, see, it's kind of weird. See, in my family, um, we're all tattooed. So my parents, they just kind of went and they just, you know, gave up because <laughs> we all have them. And, but on my husband's side of the family, there's very few people that do. And I'm pretty sure out of the in-laws, like all my brothers and sister-in-laws, I'm the only one. And I'm not lightly tattooed. Like mine, I don't have a lot, but the ones that I have, they're visible and they're, you know, they're kind of big. So it's, um, it's something sometimes that you, you have to kind of explain not because I owe anybody an explanation but because you know there there is an element of education for people that don't wear body art and I was thinking about it because the other day I was talking to my son about the piece that I'm getting and for those of you that don't know my son Louis he's uh, 25 and um, he was saying how he, you know, he wishes he could get one, but 
that he has all these fears about regret and everything. And I said to him, like, you know, there are people in this world that are just not prepared to wear body art, you know? And there's people like myself that enjoy the, the, the whole experience of it from the idea to the creation in your own head to sharing the idea with your artist, having your artist be excited, excited about it, you know, creating the design and then actually creating it on your body. And the even the the discomfort and the endurance that you need to to sit for it, everything you you know there there are people that like myself. That's why we do it. It's an experience. And I said to my son, just because you're not one of those people does not mean that you are um, wrong. You see, body art is exactly that. It's body art. It is no different than going into an art gallery and seeing pictures on a wall. It's just, I choose to have the art that I enjoy that the artist creates on my skin. And, and I told him, so what? So what if you don't want one? So what if, you know, life happens, you know, right now, it's not the time. I mean, I didn't get my first piece till I was 30, you know, and, and I'm 49 now, and I'm going back in. And the, the ironic part about it, which leads me into the next point I was going to make, is that you will always have people in society and even in your life that feel very comfortable about sharing their opinion with you about your body art. And I used to get very upset about it um, because it would hurt my feelings. And the beautiful part about being middle-aged is this. I don't care <laughs> anymore <laughs> because you reach a point in your life, I know who I am. And, and if, if a person feels the need to express an unasked for opinion of your body art, whatever, okay? But I'm here to tell you, if you are one of those people, it's rude. It's like me walking into your house and criticizing how you decorate. Okay? What I choose to do with my person is my choice. And people that wear body art are good people. See, the, the, that's the, the thing, is you, you have to remember under the art, are people, human beings. We just happen to be a little bit different. But having said that, we're all different. So at the end of this all, if you take anything away from this, is when you see somebody with body art and you have questions, or you're interested in knowing the whys of what fors, it's okay to ask, but be respectful. And, and try and remember that 
They never asked you to come over and talk to them. You know, and just because people have body art, we still deserve common courtesy and respect because we're good people. So that's going to be all for today. Oh, and before I forget, the end of the month, um, I am going to be having somebody film my video. Um, and it might have something to do with the topic we're talking about today. <laughs> and it will be coming up in the beginning of April because uh, there'll be lots of editing to do and I'm not sure I may have to ask uh, YouTube some permission because I think um, I'm going to need to put a um, age restriction on the video so I will let you know all about that the closer we get to the time but it's going to be so exciting and I am thrilled that this is actually going to pan out the way it is so you guys have a great day and also too like I told you in the beginning if you're new here and you would like to subscribe please do that for me and hit the notification bell and if you enjoyed today's video give me a thumbs up leave a comment below let me know about your experiences dealing with you know people in your life regarding your body art or if you don't have any your feelings about people that do choose to have body art and follow me on my other social media and i'll see you guys again real soon okay I love you like mad. Have a great day. Bye for now.